Hello everyone, my name is Brittany. Um, I'd just like to begin today by acknowledging the Darug people, traditional custodians of the land which we meet today, and pay my respects to their elders past and present, and I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. Thank you. Alrighty, so welcome everyone to the second annual Altitude Conference, and let's just start by giving a massive round of applause so we can actually all meet here today. So please, let's let it rip. Again, my name's Brittany, you can call me Brit, BFG, Big Friendly Ginger, I'm quite um, hard to miss. I'm a professional MC, live event host and a digital marketer, and then to the audio guys, a really annoying girl that's going to lose her mic later, so please if you see it. <laughs> Chaos. Um, so it's 9am and you're all sitting, so before we get started on our first coffee, let's go through housekeeping. So I know masks are all out today, but let's still be COVID safe, wash your hands, Keep your distance, don't drink out of everyone else's champagne. Yes, I'm thinking about champagne, it's so early, but I'm already ready. Um, toilets are just out on your left, females and males. And then one of the other important things today is if you download the event app. It is literally called the event app. So the reason we're gonna do that, it's got some cool features like we've got, you can view all the speakers, the program, the exhibitors, and then anyone that you meet, you have this little QR code on here that you can scan and that way you can connect with them rather than stalking them on LinkedIn later, which is awesome. Um, second to that, um, if the app has a few issues later, which it might not, fingers crossed, um, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. That means exchanging business cards, actually talking and networking with everyone, which is actually why we're here today. So, and you can view the sponsors on there. So a big thank you to our sponsors today. Our major partner, City of Parramatta, our gold sponsor, the ladies from Judge Accountants, Silver sponsor, Waratah e-conveyancing, and the bronze sponsors, which are the Black Dog Institute and Western Sydney Business Centre. Big thank you. Now, just a little on how today will run. So we have the plenary sessions here in the ballroom, and after lunch, we'll have two breakout sessions. So one in here, which you can all see in your programs, and the Linden Room, which is up on the upper level upstairs. Um, so, when we move between sessions, you can move freely, just plan out who you want to see. Let's be on time, otherwise the event organisers may have my head. Agnes, if you want to give us a wave up the back, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so please be nice. Um, and make sure you're asking questions at the end of all, um, every speaker, because that's why we're here. We're going to try and get as much knowledge out as everyone that we can and learn a little bit today. So, I would love to invite Lord, Lord Mayor Donna Davis up to open the conference and with a bit of a partner message. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Brittany, and good morning, everyone. A very soggy morning. I don't know when this rain is going to stop. Acknowledge the, I'd like to acknowledge the Baramadigal people of the Darug Nation as the traditional custodians of these lands and waters and pay my respects to their ancient culture and their elders past, present and emerging. Thank you to Andrea Turner Boys and the Altitude Business Group for inviting me to be part of your day. And I'd like to acknowledge the Deputy Lord Mayor of the City of Parramatta, Councillor Samir Pandey, who owns a small business and um, so he knows very much what you, are, what you experience on a daily basis. On behalf of the City of Parramatta, I'm proud to welcome you to Parramatta for Accelerate 2022 Altitude Small Business Conference and to also those who I believe are joining online, a big welcome to you as well. Council is proud to be the major partner of Accelerate 2022 as part of our commitment to supporting and nurturing small business in the City of Parramatta. We really do recognise the valuable contribution that small businesses make to Parramatta's economy and to the greater Sydney economy. As the part owner of a small business many years ago now, I understand the stress, the juggles and the challenges. I know what it's like to wake up in the middle of the night and wonder how you're going to pay the rent. My husband and I, we owned a um, hearing aid business that was here in Sydney and, and we also had an outlet in, in Melbourne. And our children were young and um, we were one of, the, one of those statistics. We actually decided to sell up, get out and, and go and work for someone else. And so I do admire you, any of you that are involved or support small businesses because I do know exactly what those challenges are like. 
And our city is committed to developing and delivering support programs to the city's small businesses and providing networking opportunities for businesses because our organisation understands what it's like for you. This commitment includes partnering with organisations like Altitude Business Group to provide our local businesses with access to expert advice, upskilling workshops and networking opportunities. Accelerate 2022 is the perfect example and it's perfectly timed to coincide with Small Business Month which kicks off on the 1st of March. City of Parramatta also offers a small business program to support new and existing businesses, its entrepreneurs and growing workforce. We provide access to quality seminars and workshops by leading training organisations and industry professionals, providing important business development tools that make starting or growing a business easier. Over the last six months, we have offered approximately 39 workshops to the Parramatta business community on topics including cyber security tips during and post-COVID, tools to reinvent your business post-COVID and beyond, mental health, including interactive workshops on self-care for small to medium business owners, and we know how important that is, and strategies to grow your business in these really challenging times. Parramatta Localised is our free online business directory and it's a great platform to find local businesses, experts and business events to help you achieve your goals. We're really aware that businesses have been some of the hardest hit over the last two years. And as you can see here in Parramatta, it was a double whammy. It wasn't just COVID, it was the light rail as well. And it continues. And for, the, for those business owners, whether or not they're on the street or in those towers, it has been a really, really difficult time. And we're very aware that our businesses have been hit and we're committed to promoting our local businesses through our Go Local campaigns. Our most recent Go Local promotion put a spotlight on hidden gems across our city, drawing attention to the amazing locally grown small businesses with a lot of heart that continue to serve our community in these difficult times. And that stretched beyond the CBD and included a spotlight on businesses in the LGA as a whole. Our Let's Meet Again campaign also saw us reach out to local small businesses purchasing prizes or gift cards for them to give the weight on social media. This helped us direct, directly support local businesses through promoting them on council's own social media channels while also purchasing directly from them. We focus on placing the interests of small business at the core of our major event programming, whether it be Parramatta Lanes or Parramatta Nights. You may be familiar with some of those big events that our city has. And one of the key drivers for those major events is small business, because it's the whole idea is that we provide those major events to bring people into this city and to actually help support the businesses that are here in our heart of Parramatta. And just as a plug, Parramatta Nights returns this year from the 18th to the 27th of March. It's going to have a range of music, rock concerts, symphony in the park and um, jazz in, in Parramatta Square. It's a wonderful array of activities that will be positioned across the city. We've got rap rap artists, we've got hip hop, but all of those different activities actually help to bring people back to the city and keep them here after dark and that helps everybody that is that is trying to um, make a buck. So we're proud to be a partner here today so we can be part of helping businesses find new opportunities and collaborations, strengthen their local connections so we can support each other now and into the future. I really encourage you to reach out to our council reps to find out more about our small business programs. I can see them sitting down the back on that table. Give a wave, guys. And find out our small business programs in Parramatta Localised so that as our city continues to flourish, your business does too. On behalf of the City of Parramatta, thanks for joining us today. Please brave the weather. Go and check out Church Street. Go and have a look while you're here. It isn't quite so bad once you get out past this major construction right outside your building. And thank you for joining us here in our city and enjoy your conference. Alrighty, thank you so much, Donna. Um, and I'd now like to invite Andrea up, who's sitting over in the corner, shuffling her papers. <laughs> 
Um, now, Andrea is the whole reason we're here today, one of the reasons. So she is the Women with Altitude founder, which we do have some members here. And if you would like to find out more, there is an exhibition if you, can, if you would like to sign up. But please welcome Andrea. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, so we have to raise the energy level a little bit. So it's, we've just, I'm having a bit of a struggle with having heels on and a bra on. I had to relearn how to do my makeup this morning. I was like, oh, what do I put on first? I forgot. And we were here yesterday and uh, it was amazing because it was a lot of, oh, oh, I can feel you. It was, <laughs> if you'd been listening with just a, um, What's the word? If you'd just been listening with the microphone, it wouldn't even have sounded very good uh, or it would have sounded a little bit risque, if you know what I mean. But the actual fact that we could actually be in another person's orbit and their energy and not see them through a screen was really cool. And so this is going to be a great couple of days. This is all about you and what you can absorb and learn. And I'm just going to chat with you for a few minutes because I'm all about tribe and community. I cannot think of anything more powerful than community and how to build a community around your business. But we're not primed for that. We're, comp we're primed from growing up to be completely competitive and you have to be number one and you have to knock out your competitor. Um, and I just don't think that way because I just think that there's enough for everybody. So what I want to share with you this morning is just four little ways that you can build a community around your business. And I can't stress enough the rewards that you will reap by doing that. So have an open mind and let's get to a few points. But before we do, I think it would be really nice to clock the person next to you. So turn to the person next to you, look them in the eyes and smile at them with your teeth. Because this is how we connect, okay? Those that know me a lot will know. That's it. The money makers. Flash those pearly whites. So we connect through our eyes, but we also we connect and exchange our energy when we smile and we have to use our teeth. Okay? Because smiling like that doesn't really work, right? So look at each other today and smile at each other today, all through the day. There's a lot of amazing, but very friendly and warm and generous people in the room. Who thinks of themselves as a fairly warm person, fairly generous, nice person? Right, everyone look around. Lots of hands are up. <laughs> so one of the things about building community, and I've got a clicker, have I got a clicker? You did tell me this and it's just gone completely out of my head. The green one? Oh, okay. I was just laughing this morning as I was getting mic'd up and I'm getting told that I've got a feedback speaker and stuff because, you know, we don't have that often the technology. We're just standing up and flying by the seat of our pants most of the time in our small little venues. So how can we help each other build more community and why is it important? The Economics Foundation in the UK have been doing some incredible studies around business and what drives people, and it's just not finances. We are craving connection and belonging. Brené Brown has made a life out of studying and releasing incredible books, but essentially her message is always the same. We crave as humans a sense of, of belonging. And I think that you can do that in your business and you can build a community. And I'm not talking about a following, okay? I'm not talking about empty numbers. People love the numbers, but there's a lot of emptiness in social media. I'm talking about real connection with community. So one of the things you can do, this is Ted Lasso 101. Be more curious. Who watched Ted Lasso? I nearly jumped off my chair as I was watching it and everyone was laughing at me because, of course, the messages in it are all the things that I love and believe. I was like, yes, yes, the whole time. Um, but I want you not to just be curious, I want you to be more curious. Ask questions, but ask more questions. So we question, but ask more questions. So when you're connecting with someone and you're asking a question, ask more. Ask more questions, find out about who people are. 
a lot of the times we go to networking and we feel nervous and you know for traditional networkers in the room for a lot of women with attitude members you've heard me say this before you know you don't walk into a restaurant and throw everyone in the restaurant a business card you don't walk in and do that with strangers but traditional networking methods or where we've come from and in the corporate sector that's what they used to do but that's not connection people want to know how you can help them and if you stop thinking about selling and you get more interested and more curious about people and ask them more questions, you will open up a flow channel where all possibilities can happen. The next thing is why. Standard Simon Sinek. People don't care why you do it. What you do, they care why you do it. Okay, powerful story. We know that in branding. We know that it's, it's coming up through. People want to know why. That's what moves us. You know, the stories that are, on, are in media um, or the businesses that are celebrated are the ones that do amazing things. There was a story the other night about a woman who was dying of cancer and she loved Bambi. She loved Bambi. Did anyone see this story? And she was dying and she was on her last few um, days before she passed. And the, ch the kids, the grown adults, were all wearing Bambi t-shirts. and. They thought, what would make our mum happy? And so they put the call out, and a local, um, a, a local farm brought a deer to her bedside, a baby deer, baby doe, and actually had her touch and feel in the bed. You know, that business didn't do that for exposure. They didn't know that story was going to be going viral. They did it because they have connection, or they want connection, or they wanted to do the right thing. But look what happened story did go viral and they're the things that we want to celebrate why we do things in community the third one is lift other people up so I live in the Blue Mountains and just like um, you would have and also um, I'm sure comedians get lots of content from their villages and their homes I get so much content from my local uh, village of where I live in terms of what people do and how people behave a few years ago, there was a cafe, fantastic cafe, made all their food fresh, and um, the person that owned it had grown up in restaurants. She was French, and uh, her family had owned a restaurant. She knew what she was doing. And next door, right next door, was a new cafe being built. And a lot of people were saying to her, oh, aren't you worried? Oh, God, there's another cafe opening up, like, literally right next door to you. There's only one shop between the two of you. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do a French accent, I can't do it. Um, no, 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 she said, no, it's fantastic because there'll be more people. There'll be more people having, um, coming to the cafe. There'll be more people in the street to come into the village because there'll be another good cafe because it looked like it was a good cafe and it turned out that it was. Someone else opened something up that was slightly similar and the business owner was consumed with fear. And all she could talk about was, oh my God, she's going to be selling the same products as me. Oh God, this is going to be so much harder. And all her energy was going there. So I would encourage you to lift others up and be encouraging because the cafe owner went and made friends with the new cafe. They helped each other out. They were happily recommending overflow. All sorts of things can come from that. You don't have anything to lose. But society teaches us that it's a win-lose game all the time. But it's not. I'm totally living proof of that. And I know people out here in this audience are as well. But it's a mindset shift. We have to shift our mindset to it. The power of a note. Um, now, this, I feel, is really important. Because the last thing that I want to share with you is to follow your instincts and your promptings because there's so much power in that. And we spend a lot of time, we watch a speaker, we, we interact with someone who's had like amazing moments or experiences with someone, coincidences, connections, who can recall a time. So what I would encourage you to do is spend some time blocking out for sending a note, sending a thank you, expressing how you feel. Okay, because I have sent a note to someone, uh, I sent a note to someone um, during the pandemic and she rang me and she said, 
I was literally standing in my backyard, totally despairing about what I was going to do next. And then your note came today and she said it just lifted my day. Every person sitting next to you is a universe. Okay? And this is the thing that we forget. Networking. I don't have time for networking. Networking is your superpower. It doesn't have to be women with attitude. You can join any network or organisation that you resonate with. But block out the time. The people who go, oh, I have no time. It's your superpower because it's cost effective, but you are involving yourself with universes of people. And we have to shift our thinking. Oh, there's, my market's not at that network. They're not talking about my industry. It's really not good. That is really, really limited in your thinking if you think like that. And I'll tell you why. Because each person is a universe of people. Now, I know there's statistics on this, and someone will know them. Does anyone know them? How many people is it that each person is apparently? It's hundreds in the orbit. So we have to stop thinking, like, the return on investment is important. God, I'm in business. I get it. You have to have a return on investment. But we also have to shift what our return on investment is. Because sometimes the return on investment is the introduction to someone amazing. Sometimes the return on investment is... I felt lifted in my lowest point that I had ever felt. Okay? There are other returns on investment that are not financial. And the universe of a person, you do not know who they know, what they think, what they've been through. You know, I, I had a, um, some of you would have heard me say this story before. There was a, an event that I went to like this, and there was a guy up talking, and he had some really great content, but he said, right, what do you do at networking? You go up to someone, you go, hello, what do you do? And he said to this lady, what do you do? And she said, oh, I make um, videos, meditation videos for children. And he goes, great. So when you go networking, you go up to people and you go, hi, how are you? What do you do? Do you have any kids? And they say no. And you go, great, thanks. And you move on. <laughs> oh, there I go. So I'm sitting in the audience and as I hear that, I'm like... <laughs> because I'm like... Oh. So I went up to the lady at the end of it and I said, look, that guy had some really great advice, but can I just encourage you one thing? Please don't do that when people say, <laughs> when they say they have no kids. And she went, oh, okay. I said, you don't know, you might be an auntie of seven. You might live next door to a family of five. You might work with a whole bunch of women who have all just had kids. You, for hell, you might work in a nursery school, a kindergarten. And so this is what I mean about asking more questions or the universe of a person. We have to stop limiting ourselves. And part of the problem is we keep j jumping to snap judgments all the time. Just be open. So the last thing I'm going to leave you with, and I'm really pumped because I'm on time. I'm actually under time. <laughs> last conference, last conference, Agnes was waving at me like this. You need to get off. You need to get off. Um, I love that we've come together. This was the 2021 conference. We would have been having our third conference this year, but it's our second. Um, and just the last thing I want to share with you, in the pandemic, I got right into Hamilton. I've got teenagers. I loved it. Does anyone else love Hamilton? And the last song in Hamilton, when Aaron Burr, sorry, spoiler alert, but when Aaron Burr shot Alexander Hamilton, one of the lines he sings, I was too young and blind to see that the world was wide enough for Hamilton and me. And the world is wide enough for more of you and more of your industry and what you do. It's like, open up the collaboration. It's not a competition. Have a great conference, everyone.